Alright, hey, Hades Omega here, and I'm making another Sauron video on this guy, alright? So this is a domino twist throttle, alright? So, um, I'm, um, so the evolution of the throttle on my Sauron, alright? If you guys don't know, this is a Sauron Light B MX, alright? This is the very first Sauron bike that came out. Um, and it actually didn't have a, a electronic twist throttle. It had a a, a regular cable throttle connected to a, a box, all right, that has the the potentiometer on it, all right. Well, well, I upgraded it to a, the newer style Sauron throttle, all right. That's a full electric th throttle, and then um, and then now I'm going to upgrade it to this, all right. So um, I've had some problems with my bike, like with the with the throttle, like well with the power skipping and cutting out and stuff and all that to tell you the truth all that stuff started happening after i put this throttle on all right <laughs> the sword throttle um one thing i don't like about well, one thing i do like about this the sword throttle is it's very has a very light pull all right uh, it's very light and very smooth um when you're riding in the dirt that's kind of that's kind of what you want uh, because uh um it, it it you don't have to grip it as hard you know to twist it and um and yeah so uh, it's it's less uh it's less pain for your wrists is what i'm gonna say <laughs> okay but the problem with the one problem with the uh sauron throttle is that it's too um what is the word um it, you have to twist it a lot a whole lot all right so i what i notice is when i'm riding off road and i'm standing i cannot twist the throttle all the way because i physically can't do it because i'm standing i, I can't like do, i can't do this number so i say if i'm sitting down yeah i can probably do that you know but when i'm standing up i can't i can't do that physically i can't do that so that's when i uh a, a quicker twist throttle helps and i think this one has a quicker twist throttle all right anyway we'll we'll go compare the two the, the two twists all right we'll get a piece of tape and then we'll see how far it sweeps i think they're I honestly I think they're roughly the same but um I wanted to try this throttle it's pretty expensive I got it at electric motorsports all right in Hayward California by the way I was able to go there and pick it up so if you live in the area you can save on some shipping costs uh by going there um I don't live too far from there I'm in San Jose so uh, but it was 110 dollars with like eight dollars tax okay and so I was able to pick it up uh, I think these are usually around $120 um, is how much they cost. And so it comes with the, let's check it out. All right, $110. It's not a cheap throttle, all right? I think the Sauron throttle goes around for like $60, $70, all right? So this one is pretty expensive. And you have, and it's not plug and play, all right? Um, I do know if you, um, if you buy from Charge Cycle Works, they modify it already, so you can plug it into your Sauron. Just, just straight plug it in there. But um, I, I bought this one, so I think the one that that you buy that's modified it costs even more. So <laughs> you know, he's a Mega Man. He's super duper cheap. All right, but it's actually it's not hard to install at all. All right, especially if you have the uh, electronic twist throttle. Um, we're just basically going to use the wire from the old throttle for this. Um, so it's kind of, you can't, once you, once you go back to this, once you go to this, it's going to be, you know, you really, you can't go back to the old throttle because you hacked it up already, all right? Unless you want to, you know, re undo the work that you did to install this one. Um, but which is not that big a concern for me because if I wanted to go back to the stock throttle, I would just buy a, a brand new one because I feel like there's something wrong with this one. I think it, when it, when the bike gets wet, stuff happens to it and and yeah so and then and then like when i twist the throttle it opens up it opens the the voltage opens up really really fast uh so this is a zero to 5k um 5k ohm uh throttle all right for the potentiometer i think it's it has a longer um it's it's more accurate um it has it has more accurate than uh or more precise than the sauron one is what i'm gonna say okay and also, uh, I've already used this throttle before, <laughs> okay? Uh, if you've ridden an Energica electric motorcycle, use the same throttle, okay? Um, but yeah, let's go take a closer look at it, and then, uh, and then we'll compare the two throttles real quick, just a twist, and then uh, we'll go install it, all right? It's not that, it's not that difficult. Basically, you just uh, gotta cut the old harness and then wire this one to it, all right? This one already does have a wire harness on it, um, you're gonna have to chuck it basically and it does come with uh, some nice 
a nice uh, um, connector and everything, connector and pins and everything. So yeah, um, pretty cool. Okay, so let's go. Let's take a closer look at it. Okay, so this is what you're gonna get with it. If at least if you buy it from Electric Motorsports, let's go open it up. You get the twist throttle, obviously. Okay. You get the twist throttle. You get another throttle for the other side if you want to match it, but uh, I'm, I'm just going to take my old throttle off and put it on this one. I don't, I kind of don't like these grips. That's what I'm going to say. Um, and then uh, it, it comes with a connector, all right, a five pin connector with the little um, rubber dealies to seal it, but uh, we're not going to use that, okay? So you save it for another project. So here's the throttle. Okay, so one thing about this is it's five pins, all right, guys? Uh, five wires. Yeah, there's five pins, too. Um, there's two greens, a blue, a black, and a white. So um, the uh, the three different colored ones, all right, the blue, black, and white are what's going to connect to your throttle on the bike. The green is goes to a micro switch, all right, is what, it, what that is. It's a brake switch, basically. So um, I may... I'm gonna keep this around, all right, the green wire. Uh, what I might do is wire it to the brake switch that's on the bike, and then you can use this as a brake switch, all right? There's an option in the KO, uh, the KO Moto um, app, all right, that you can use a brake switch to activate uh, region. Maybe I'm not wanting to try it, okay? Or we could just wire a switch to it also. Um, but yeah, there it is. So you can, you can hear there's a micro switch in there See when you um, when you start twisting the throttle, it immediately you can hear the the switch. All right, but it doesn't really matter because you can adjust the dead band on the uh, yeah you could adjust the dead band on the on the KO controller. So okay, but there it is. It's a pretty it's a pretty meaty twist throttle. Is what I want to say. It's really thick. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're going to cut this connector off, all right? And we're just going to solder on the wires to our existing uh, harness, okay? Um, and then that, that's what the way it, I, I watched the Emoto Bros video, and that's how they did it, all right? Um, also, there's two different uh, throttles for the Sauron, all right? There's, a, there's an older model and a newer model. The newer model has different colors. I, in the description of the video, I will put what colors you need to do to what okay if you have the earlier version there there's two versions i have the earlier one okay the i have a red uh black black red and green all right um i think the new one is like brown black and something so uh but uh but i will put the uh, what you need to wire to what okay and i will put my sources all right <laughs> okay so you guys um to give them credit you know type of thing but emoto bros is where i where I learned how to do this, okay? And then what we're gonna do is I have the KO controller. We're gonna use the KO controller to recalibrate this. Um, if if you're trying to install this on your Sauron, you, it is not a drop-in install, guys. You have to uh, recalibrate your throttle, okay? Um, this You cannot plug this into a stock uh, um, Sauron controller and expect it to work, all right? I heard that uh, the earlier earlier model uh, Surons, you could do that, but not the newer ones. Okay, they something changed with the newer models, but um, but I have aftermarket controller. I will show you how to do how to um, recalibrate it on the Suron and show you that it works. Okay, so let's hop to it. Okay, so uh, well, first what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna test the uh, the sweep of these uh, throttles. Okay. I've got the stock Sauron throttle here, and then the Domino one, all right? Um, so what I've done is I put a piece of tape on it, and then I'm going to mark somewhere on the handlebar where we're going to thing it. So let's just say here, this the really edge of this. Okay, so I'm just going to write, okay, so where that black mark is, is where we're going to start it, okay? And then so this is the beginning. So I'm going to mark the beginning here. Okay. I'm going to pull it back. Mark it again. Okay. So as you can see, 
it's not a lot. There's not a lot of twists, guys. It's not a lot of twists at all. Uh, it's like a quarter turn throttle, pretty much. So, I don't know. Hades Mega's having trouble with this throttle, but it seems like a lot of twists is what I want to say. Alright. So, it's pretty much from that to that. That to that. That's almost almost a quarter. That's actually less than a quarter, right? Like half would be here, yeah. So that's like a two o'clock throttle, guys. <laughs> Twelve to two throttle. So I'm gonna call it. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and install the new throttle. All right, and then we'll test that out. All right. Um, I'm not gonna go over how to install it. It should be pretty simple. Um, for the Suron throttle, you're going to want to remove these two two uh, two bolts, all right? And then if you have hand guards, take the hand guards out, and you should be able to just slide it off. Um, you may need to remove your. I, I, I'm just going to cut it. We're going to we'll cut it already. <laughs> okay. Um, it would be in your best interest to uh, to have as much cable as you can get. Okay, so. Um, make sure you so okay so like when I twist when I twist the handlebar that way that's our least the least of our cable so uh, what I want to do is probably just snip it right at the end that's what I'm gonna say okay or I'll, I'll snip it like one inch like right here okay and then that way I can get the old throttle off easily <laughs> if not you'll probably have to take the handlebar out and move it a little bit and then pull the handlebar off of the grip, okay? But just get your throttle, just get your old throttle off and put the new one on. It's not, it's not that difficult, guys. All right, here we go. Okay, I've just gone and removed the, uh, the throttle, all right? And I just cut it. Like I said, I cut it a few inches from, from the edge. I may need to, oh, okay, there we go. Okay, there's the old throttle. Chuck that guy. <laughs> For what it's worth, I thought it was a, a decent throttle, all right? Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and install this one, and uh, we'll take the, the throttle grip off of it. Alright, well, holy moly, I got them out, man. Was it hard? It was difficult. Um, I, I have the feeling that this throttle tube is thicker than the one that's on the Suron. And I'm kind of sad that it's still a plastic tube. <laughs> it, for $100, they could have given you a metal one, guys. Anyway, here it is. There's the grip. Alright, um, it was really hard to get off. So I had to, like, work it on, pull it like this and wiggle it out a little bit. And then, um, and I was like pushing on the housing with my thumb and stuff. And then uh, I kept, I was spraying it with water. And then when I got to about here, it just went, whoop, it just slipped right out. So I guess uh, the water uh, were, found a way to work its way in there, right? But it's a closed throttle grip, okay? So if you wanted to use a, it with a hand guard, you're gonna have to cut a hole through it anyway, so. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, uh, actually what we can do, uh, is let me measure how thick the throttle tube is first. Okay, throttle tube test. Throttle tube thickness test. All right, I've got 25.6 millimeters. All right, for the domino. All right, 25.6. And the Suron. This, was how, this is without the grips. Uh, 25, 26. All right, so about half a millimeter. Not that much of a difference. Um, but yeah, it is it is bigger than the uh, thing, so uh, I'm gonna have to move this in a little bit more. All right. Anyway, I'll get. Let me get this situated. It's not quite all the way in yet, so okay. We're gonna do the throttle test, the throttle twist test. So I've got the the two mark. This is the exact same piece of tape that I had last time. Okay, and uh, so we're gonna go twist the throttle now, and I've got it lined up with the with the mark from last time. That's right. Right there, -ish. I know you can, can't see it. Um, this throttle is actually a little longer than the Suron throttle. All right, I'm gonna go twist it, and bam, there it is. It's literally the same amount of twist. Okay, so so my idea that uh, this is gonna make my twist a little bit shorter, it it isn't. All right, so hopefully it's just a better throttle overall. All right, 
but like I said, I've used a domino throttle before, and you know, I kind of like it. One thing for sure, it's a lot harder to pull. It's a lot harder to twist, but it's it's see it's but it has a it has a good like resistance is what I want to say. Okay. It snaps back really fast too. The spring is really strong on it. So, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put it all back together, and then we're gonna go uh, solder the new the new wiring in. Okay. Okay. New throttles on there. Um, hand guards on there, and it's there's it's not interfering at all. All right. So uh, let's go uh, modify this throttle. Okay. So uh, the next thing we gotta do is um, figure out how much uh, wire we want. So now we have like an extra amount of wire. We don't want it too long, but we don't want it short either. So, <laughs> okay, um, if it's if it's longer, it'll be easier to work with. I believe, I believe it's the shortest when it's twisted all the way uh, when the handlebars are turned all the way to the right. So, how about? Be nice to have a little extra. Yeah, let's go like right here. I think that's fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut. I'm going to go cut this right around here, all right, yeah, okay, yeah, I'll cut it right around here, and then maybe I can use this connector for something in the future, all right, like you don't want it too long because it'll start bunching up, and if you, you don't want it too short because you, you need room to, for the handlebar to move, all right, so, yeah, I'm going to cut it right here, all right, point of no return, oh, <laughs> cut it, cut it guys there it is okay so now i've cut both ends and all we got to do is solder them together okay just like that and we should have plenty of extra there should be enough of this to get to reach all the way here so that should be more than enough okay so let's go ahead and do that and uh, so i'll go expose the wires and show you what we're working okay, here's with. what we're working with on the uh, domino throttle side all right, um, so these two green wires, you're not gonna use right now anyways. These don't pertain to the throttle at all. So, uh, but I will keep them there because maybe I might wanna make, use that micro switch for something, all right? Uh, like to use, a, use it as a brake switch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna twist them together and then I'll probably put a piece of electrical tape, all right? But we'll get those out of the way first. All right, these are the three wires that you're concerned with, the black, blue, and white, okay? Let me go strip the other side. Okay, I strip about an inch off of both sides. Um, so here you've got a red, black, and green. Okay, so the uh... okay guys. So uh, if you have the earlier Suron um, throttle, you'll have the red, black, and green. And if you have a newer Suron throttle, you'll have a black, brown, and blue. Okay. So um, if you have the black black i will put it in the description what wire you have to connect to what okay but you've got a black blue and white you want to connect the white wire to the black wire okay and then the blue wire to the brown wire and then the black to the blue okay yeah and they're all they're all mixed up <laughs> okay um, that's if you have the newer suron throttle okay but for for me i have the older suron throttle the colors are different all right i got red black and green um for the white, we're going to connect to the black, okay, black, and then the blue, we're going to connect to the red, all right, and then what's left, black, goes to green, okay. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. Um, I'm going to add a shrink tubing to one of the ends, and then, uh, and then yeah, we'll shrink tube it when we're done. Pretty simple, just join the wires together, all right? Just like okay, I told I've got you. the wires stripped and I'm getting ready to solder them. And then I've got my uh, shrink tubing in here and I've kind of tucked it up as far as I can so we don't accidentally shrink it while we're soldering, okay? All right, I'm gonna go knock it out. And then I left a good, sh I left this part of the jacket on so when we do solder it together, um, all we're gonna do is just zip tie everything together. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I can, um, I can add one of these guys to it. Let's just do that. Okay, so I'm going to add this guy and then throw it down there. Is that going to be enough, though? That's like the smallest one I got, guys. <laughs> everything else is, yeah, it's really big. Um, yeah, okay. Yeah, we'll try that. Oh, here's a smaller one. 
Yeah, we'll, we'll try that. As, as long as something is covering it, all right? It, it's it's going to be super duper um, insulated. That's good. Okay. All right. We'll knock it out. Okay, I just wanted to show it to you before I uh, close it all up. All right, so these are all the wires. Um, so for for my install, all right, um, it's just think about it. You're doing all the opposite colors, guys. For the most part, you're doing blue versus red, white versus black, and then the odd one is the black versus the green. Okay, so. Um, so there it is. Okay, so now I'm gonna go do the shrink wrap and everything, and wrap it all up, and then, uh, and then yeah. So we'll be done. Okay, boys and girls, there we go. It's all installed. So you can see the green wire is still hanging out there. Um, I left that out there. I would have just left it inside, but or just snipped it. Um, but in the future, I may want to experiment with this, the micro switch. Okay, I may want to try the try the brake switch. All right, but um, for now, we're just gonna leave it unconnected. All right, I'm just gonna twist it up like that, and then I'm just gonna I'm gonna um, use electrical tape. Just tape it back on the wire like that okay there's a good amount of wire left you can see it's got plenty of sweep through everything what i might do is i don't know just keep the wire down there like that okay well you don't want the wires hanging out too much because it could get snagged by something okay um so what i might want to do is probably just zip tie it to the handlebar right here and then that'll be good and then it'll just there'll be a little loop down there okay yeah, if, in my opinion, the wire's a, a little too long, but um, if you ever need to take the throttle off in the future, it, it's nice to have that extra slack so you can get the throttle off of the handlebar. I got these really long handlebars, so. Okay, there we go. It's it's installed. Now uh, we got to go do the uh, calibration and see if it works, all right? All right. Okay, hopefully you guys can see everything in the shot right now. I'm going to fire the bike up, and the bike is probably not going to run. It's probably going to start beeping, saying... Hey, what's going on? This throttle, the throttle seems it off. All right, and that's, so we got to do a throttle calibration, and I'm going to show you how to do that. All right, so I'm going to turn the bike on here. Okay, seems okay. Let's give it a twist. Just... No, it doesn't work. Okay, um, so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go to KO, the KO Moto okay. app. This is the KO Moto app. Uh, you're going to want to go. All right, so it's. It's connected right now because you can see the battery voltage here. All right, and I'm gonna go to menu, and then we're gonna go to throttle, okay? Throttle, okay, and I guess it would help if we had it in the, <laughs> the other way. All right, right here is calibrate throttle, so we're gonna hit calibrate throttle. Okay, and all we gotta do is follow the directions, all right? So pull and hold throttle. Okay, see it says it's four volts, release and wait. Pull and hold throttle. Release and wait. Pull and hold throttle. Okay, release and wait. Okay, did you get that? And so uh, it should run now, right? 
So it saved the settings. And twist the throttle. And there you go, it works. Okay, there you go. Okay, there you go. So uh, that's uh, how you install a uh, Domino throttle on a Suron with a KO Tech Moto controller, all right, and, and motor, all right. Um, like I mentioned, I have the earlier Suron throttle, the one with the red, black, and green wires. There's another one with a, a newer one with different colors, like one of them was like brown or something. So uh, I, I will put a, uh, I will put a, um, the information for the wiring in the description of the video, all right, if you want to see it, a typed out one, all right, so for your, for your, um, for your, for notes, all right, <laughs> for notes, notes, all right, but, um, but yeah, the, the way I wired it worked good. I will also add the uh, the links to the videos where I got this information from. All right, one of them was Emoto Bros, and then some some other dude. <laughs> okay, and um, and yeah, and then as you saw, it didn't work when we first started. All right, I even actually tried to twist it, and the throttle voltage, the max throttle voltage was like four point something volts. All right, I think, if I remember correctly. I think it's only like two volts is the <laughs> is the uh, or the the Suron throttle is around like two volts or something max. Okay, so so this has like double the voltage. All right, so that's why it makes it more accurate. the the voltage the the voltage uh, range is much much greater. All right, that means it has like better resolution. All right. So it should be a more precise throttle, right? Well, anyway, we'll find out when we ride it, all right? So I will probably have a, a, a test ride video. Just We're just gonna take it for a cruise around the neighborhood to see how it works, and then, and then that'll be the end of the video. But it looks like, as you saw on my stand, it works just fine, okay? And then I showed you how to, in the uh, KO Moto app, how to recalibrate the throttle, all right? Um, and it, piece of cake, man. All you gotta do is follow the directions, Pull the throttle, let go of the throttle, pull the throttle, let go of the throttle, you know, just whatever it says to do, do it, and then it will calibrate it for you. It's too easy, man, too easy. All right, um, those of you that got other controllers and stuff, or if you got the stock controller, sorry, I, you know, I don't have one. <laughs> I don't have one that I could try it on. Uh, most likely, if you have a BAC controller, you can probably, um, you can probably calibrate it, okay? Um, if you have backdoor access, what you can do is uh, look at the voltage sweep, all right? It'll, it'll actually tell you in real time um, how much the voltage is um, when you're, there's no, no throttle applied and then you want to go all the way and then find out what the max voltage is and then put those values in, all right? And then maybe, maybe lower the voltage a little bit, <laughs> okay? And then, and yeah, that's all, actually, that's exactly what I had to do when I was using the KO Moto uh, PC software, okay, to get it working. But with this new app, it just, it's so much easier, man, I'm telling you. Um, they did a really good job on the app. It's super easy to uh, think. It's, it's just as easy as the uh, um, ERT um, NXT display, okay? Okay, I will put a link in the description where I purchased it, all right? It was from Electric Motorsports for $110. I'll put a link there. If you live in the Bay Area, you can go go there and pick it up and save $18 on shipping, okay? Um, and then so, so yeah. And also you have to modify your throttle, okay? Um, that, that's the best thing to do. Um, either way, you're gonna need the connectors to connect it to the bike anyways, okay? This is the easiest way. I didn't have to go down there and disconnect anything. I did it while it was on the bike, okay? Um, super easy, three wires. Um, if you, if you do, if you think that's too hard, um, Charge Cycle Works. All right, there's a couple there's a couple companies that sell a modified Domino throttle that already has the connector on it to connect. So you would just uninstall your old throttle and then just connect the new one. All right, if if you think that's um, too much for you to handle, then uh, Charge Cycle Works, I believe, sells a mo uh, already one mod that's modified. Right. Same throttle, but they modified the plug, so all you have to do is plug, it's plug and play, okay? You don't have to do any modification at all, all right? And then there's still those green wires, all right? The green wires are, are that, is that micro switch that's on the throttle. 
Um, you don't really need it, all right? But if you do want to wire it to your um, brake switch on the bike and use that to trigger your regen, you can do that, okay? So I, I may experiment with that, all right? So look forward to a future video on that, <laughs> maybe, okay? Uh, pretty excited to try this new throttle out. Um, so what we found out is it also the the twist is the exact same as the Suron throttle, right? It's ex it was literally almost the same, right? I think maybe maybe it might have been a little bit more, okay? But the resistance to pull the throttle is a lot more. It, I, I'm I'm not joking, man. It's probably twice as hard to twist that throttle as it is the Suron one. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna like that or not. All right. Honestly, I don't. I I liked how smooth and light the the Suron throttle was, but maybe some people don't like that. All right, so I, I will give it a whirl. Um, Hades Mega gets wrist cramps. All right, I, I get wrist cramps from twisting the throttle a lot sometimes, and uh, hopefully that won't happen with this. All right, but that's one the one thing I liked about the Suron throttle was really really light, but it might be too light. <laughs> I tell you the truth, okay? It's just a little too easy to pull, and it was doing some crazy stuff with the controller, like. It would open the throttle really, really fast. So maybe this one will be a lot better. Um, this one, the resolution is much better. It's like twice as, twice as uh, more, uh, more precise is what I'm gonna say. Okay. All right. Thanks for watching. Here's my go. Hope you learned something.